Hello, you're watching Wessex TV with me, your entertainment and news correspondent, Danielle Stagg. It's Friday evening and here are your top stories. Local elections have seen Labour suffer as the Conservatives' advantage grows. The Tories perform well in Christchurch, where they now have four councillors. The only other seat went to Liberal Democrat Peter Hall, who narrowly scooped victory by just 93 votes. UKIP's advantage grew, the party coming in second in the borough overall. Labour also conceded defeat in Ringwood, where once again the Tories came out on top. A two-year-old boy was seriously injured yesterday after being hit by a van in Southbourne. The toddler is in a serious but stable condition after being airlifted to Poole Hospital with severe head injuries. Police are appealing for witnesses. Dorset Police have launched a special drink driving campaign. The police will be increasing patrols and roadside checks. Besides the potential to cause fatal injury to themselves and others, drink divers could face a minimum of a 12-month ban, up to one year in prison or a £5,000 fine. Entertainment News Now and police believe the death of Kill Bill star David Carradine could have been the result of a sex game gone wrong. The kung fu legend was found dead in a hotel room in Bangkok yesterday. Susan Ball has left the Priory Clinic following a suspected breakdown. The Britain's Got Talent star was admitted to rehab for stress and exhaustion on Monday. And Big Brother kicked off last night in what producers are promising to be its cruelest series yet. None of the contestants actually entered the house, the 16 hopefuls instead living in one room with cold water and porridge. Sounds horrible. That's all for now. Tune in on Tuesday for all the latest from Wessex TV. Goodbye.